My name's Sat Baines, I'm the chef patron of Restaurant Sat Baines and Rooms. There's been a massive shift in um, supplier-led ingredients that learning about what's in season and, and ultimately learning what your supplier is really good at has dictated our menu. So probably the last 15 years now, everything we do is supplier-led because they're the real craftsman artisan. We're the middle people and the customers and user. So we've got to have respect throughout the chain, say, that's the best asparagus they grow for four to six weeks. We have to treat it with respect. The customer's a benefactor. And I think for me, what inspires me probably the most still is probably Japan. And I think because we have chosen to do tasting menus, I think for me the most purest form of that was the Kaisaki. Um, ultra seasonal, ultra conceptual in terms of what the chef's idea was of what is pure. So typified, um, it's towards the end of summer, so everyone's had barbecues. You know, they're always saying, Brian, summer's not been great. It's been great, you know, let's stop fucking around. It's England, you know, it's going to be like it is. But you know, you have all them lovely remnants of the smell of the charcoal and smokiness and scallops are really sweet at the moment. So we've done um, roasted scallops on the plancha. We've done a smoked pumpkin puree. We've done a, a black charcoal emulsion. We've got some toasted pumpkin seeds, a little uh, maple, lemon, and um, pumpkin oil vinaigrette, some baked apple puree, some crackers made out of uh, the charcoal and the pumpkin with a little scallop roll. So the dish is called scallop with late summer barbecue flavors. The second dish is chocolate. It's one of my favorite things in the world. I love chocolate marquee, the classic from Marco. We always have variations. This one's like a chocolate puck. We did something similar years ago. And chocolate and yogurt have always gone well for me. It's like you've got the richness and decadence of the chocolate, the acidity, the lacticness, the lactose kind of acidity from the, the yogurt. So the idea would be the combined together, you've got the warm kind of room temperature chocolate with some sea salt granules. You've got this beautiful kind of, you know, intensely clean yogurt sorbet. And then you just make a little well, you pour some beautiful extra virgin olive oil, and I've got this 25 year old balsamic and just something happens to it. So you have a little bit of the chocolate, you have a bit of the yogurt, but then as the well, you just put your spoon round and the olive oil makes the yogurt even more creamier, which sounds crazy because everyone thinks it's gonna be greasy. And then it cuts with this beautiful 25 year old balsamic. So we've had that combination for a while, but this is our new interpretation of it. Mm -hmm.